Practice the exercise 4.10 print GPA tells us to write a method named print GPA. Calculate the student's grade point average. The user will type a line of input containing the student's name, then a number of scores, followed by that many integer scores. And we have a two example dialogues here. So that's a lot to do. And we're first going to start off with our method. So write a method named print GPA. We're going to have a public, we'll just call it static void print GPA. We're not having any parameters in here. So this is what it's going to look like. Now we are going to be taking user input. So we're going to need a scanner. We'll call it input and we'll set it equal to a new scanner where we have our system dot in and this line. Now we are going to prompt the user. So we need to say, enter a student's record. We're going to do this all in a system dot out dot print. And the reason why we're doing just print and not print line is because we need all of this on the same line. We'll add a space in here and we're going to end this line. Now the user is first going to input a name, right? So that's what we're going to store inside of here. We're going to make a string. We'll call it name and it's going to be equal to our input dot next. And that's going to get us the next thing, which should be the name. Now, the next thing that we are going to be uh, receiving is the um, line of input containing the number of scores. So we want, if this is five here, we're going to have five scores. If this is four, we're going to have four scores. So we need to store that inside of something. Now to calculate GPA, we can see that we have this. And so when dividing things like out, like out like this, we need a double because it's specifically asking us for a double. So instead of making it an integer, we are going to make double and we're going to call it count and that's, um, or we can just call it scores because it's the number of scores, right? That's what we're getting right here. So we have double scores and it's going to be equal to input dot next. And we're going to have next int because an integer is going to be passed in next, not a double. And all of these are also integers, not doubles, but we're going to be pushing them to a value that is a double because we are going to have to divide them and we need a decimal as an answer. So now we need to get all of the next scores. Well, we don't know how long this is going to run for, but we do know we have a max value. That's perfect for a for loop. We'll have some arbitrary int a is equal to zero. We're going to run this as long as a is less than our scores. And then we're going to have a plus plus. So inside of here, all we need to do is add to our overall grade. We are going to just do grade and we're going to have to make a variable for this. Uh, we could just make it outside of our for loop. We'll do double grade and we'll initialize it to zero. And like I said, we are going to have to increment this every single time or not increment, but actually add in all of these values so that we get something that looks like this. To do that, we're just going to have grade plus equals. So it adds on to its previous self. And then we're going to get input dot next int. We can end this line and this line. And now we just need to print this out right here. So we're simply going to have a system dot out dot print line. Instead of here, we're going to have the person's name. So we're going to do name plus. We are going to have the apostrophe S inside of here. Grade is space. And then we're going to append to this the grade. So we are going to have grade divided by our scores. And then we can end this line and end our method. With that done, we can click submit. And we have passed five out of five tests. So that's how you would go about solving or practice it exercise 4.10, which is print GPA.